All right, folks, I apologize for that last video being so long. Hopefully this one will be super short. So we got the sensor block coded and now it's time to code the navigation block. I have gone through and messed with the sensor parameters a little bit. So when we run this now, the output looks a little bit more like I would expect to see in a real space flight. And so I'll let that run. We can plot some stuff here. So here's the same orbit, but now our magnetic field, remember our satellite is tumbling. So if you uh, zoom in on this, this is the magnetic field in the body frame. And so the, bot, the magnetic field is changing as you go through the orbit, but it's also changing in your reference frame because that satellite is tumbling. Um, the dashed lines are the noise and bias though. So you can see that there is a, a you know, considerable amount of noise that kind of uh, causes issues. And if you notice it updates at once a second, I have the system updating, I have the magnetic field updating every 10 seconds. Um, if you go to the um, angular velocity, um, you can see that I added in some bias. And so there's a, a bias term that's getting offset and from, the, from the truth signal. And you can also see that there is a, a noise term. And so basically what we wanna do is we wanna filter that out. Okay, so we're gonna add the navigation block um, and the satellite uh, routine. And so basically we're gonna say uh, B field um, nav and uh, PQR nav is gonna be our navigation, which is basically just gonna be a complementary filter. And we're gonna put in B field measured, measured and PQR measured in here. And I, I'm trying to think if we want, do we want to run our navigation filter every time we get a new sensor update? And I think, I think we do. So I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to say this, the sensor block is here. The navigation block is here because basically there's no point in filtering a signal if you don't have a new signal, right? So I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm going to make these globals and put these up here. Uh, and I'm going to put them in the main routine as well uh, up here. Okay. And then I'm going to, uh, let's see, I'm going to make those variable. I'm going to make these variables here. So here's B, X, B, Y, B, Z. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, B, X, B, and I guess na N for nav, nav. And then PQR N for nav. And then down here, I can just save, save the, save the magnetic field. So I can say BXB nav is uh, B field nav of one. And then BXB N IDX is B field nav of two. And then B, uh, B sorry, B Y B Z n of idx is b field nav of three and then save the um not the polluted pqr signal but the filtered pqr signal and we're going to say pqr n for nav idx comma all is pqr nav transposed okay and then down here we can plot it so we can do just copy this three times and I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do dash, but I think I'm gonna do, actually, I kinda wanna do a different color. So I've got blue, yellow, green. So I'm gonna do red and then magenta and black. And hopefully that will pop up okay. And then it's uh, N, 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 and then down here, I'm just gonna let MATLAB figure it out. Plot, T out, PQR, N for nav, and then, like I said, I'm just gonna let MATLAB figure it out. Hopefully it will. All right, so if I plot this, everything, those will all be zeros because I don't, and actually it'll throw an error because I don't have this uh, navigation. So I need to open this and it does not exist. And so remember the navigation, oh wait, hang on first, let's, let's grab the function header. So this is the function header, copy, paste, and function. Okay, so 
what we need to do is we need to save the previous B field nav state. Okay, and it's saying it doesn't like it. So let's call this uh, prev and prev. And what we need to do in satellite is we need to make a global called B field nav prev and PQR nav prev. So these are our, our sensor values from the previous state. Um, I'm gonna make these, I'm gonna initialize these as zeros and put these up here. And I'm gonna say B field nav prev is zero, zero, zero. And then PQR nav prev is zero, zero, zero. Okay, and then I'm gonna say in the navigation filter, I'm gonna say if sum of B field nav prev plus, plus sum of PQR nav prev equals zero, I'm gonna just assume that my B field nav is equal to my B field measured because I don't have a previous signal. And then I'm gonna say P, uh, PQR nav is PQR measured. Because if I don't have a previous signal, I, 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 can't, I can't do the update. Otherwise, I'm gonna use my complementary filter. So I'm gonna say B field nav is my B field measured times uh, one minus S, and I might have this backwards, um, and then S times, I think I do. I think it's, I think this is supposed to be B field nav prev, and this is supposed to be B field measured, and then I can do the same thing except call it PQR nav is PQR nav prev times PQR measured. And then after I do this, what I wanna do is say B field nav prev equals B field nav, and that way it saves it for the next time step, PQR nav prev is PQR nav. And guys, call NASA if this works. Blast. All right, I'm fired. Somebody call NASA. Oh, I forgot to freaking save. Of course I did. Why is this giving me trouble? Isn't it down here? Yeah, it spans multiple workspaces. I mean, is that an issue? Yeah, I mean, their outputs to this function. I think they're just, Malab's just freaking out, you know? This is terrible programming practices, to be honest. I mean, like, I didn't plan this code out at all. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm coding off the cuff here. All right, so we need to define our S variable, okay? So S tells us how much we believe our measurement. Our measurement's a little noisy, but it's not terribly, it's, it's not entirely terrible. So I'm gonna say it's 0 0.9, okay? Um, so we're gonna believe our signal and let's see what happens. Ooh yeah, we are running code. Let's hope this works. Do, 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 do. Should I pause the video? We're at eight minutes, this is good. Because if, if we get this, we're done. All right, so did we filter any signals or did we just like literally? Yeah, probably filter a little bit more. Let's filter a little bit more. Oh, you know what, dude? We forgot to subtract the bias. Let's assume we don't know the bias, okay? Getting bias is hard. If you wanted to add in bias, all you would do, would, you would put B field measured minus your bias estimate, right? And for now, I'm just gonna assume that it's zero, zero, zero. But if you have an idea of what the bias is, you can put that there. And then you can do a PQR bias estimate as well is zero, zero, zero. I'm gonna put that in there just so if you wanna change it, you can. PQR bias estimate, but I'm not, I'm not gonna code that in, I don't wanna deal with it. Um, so it looks like we could filter a little bit more. Let's try 60%, that seems kind of uh, you know, over eager, but 
if this works, I'll, 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 call, I'll, I'll call the video here. So 10 minutes, it's pretty good. I'm trying to keep these videos, videos fast and slow, fast and quick, short and quick. I don't know what I, I can't, I can't speak right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're filtering a little bit. We're still, still jiving. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'm going to just kill the video here. Um, you can kind of see how this complimentary filter is working. Like it's, uh, you know, it's, you have to keep in mind this solid orange line is truth. This blue line is the measured signal and this orange line is the filtered signal. So you just, you have to kind of make a judgment call on how much noise you think you have. It looks like to do point three here. This is the last one I'm gonna do, and then I'm, I promise I'm gonna kill it. Let's see what we got. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, are these the filtered signals of the uh, of the magnetic field, dude? This is trippy as hell. Oh man, dude, I freaking love this. Okay, so blue is truth dashed blue is measured red is filtered now that that i like and dude i like this color scheme i should make this my desktop back well, actually i think my eyes would bleed if i stare at this for too long uh, let's look at pqr pqr is looking good yeah i'll take it all right call it there so we are almost done all we need to do is code the B dot controller, which is like three lines of code. And we are done with this seminar series. I am psyched. I'm ready to go to bed. One more video and we're done. I'll see you in the next video.